Dog cognitive science has come a long way over the past two decades. Wagging tails, persuasive looks, and the shape of ears yield all kinds of information about a dog's intentions and emotional state. The way dogs develop human-like behavior has been the subject of many scientific studies. Research has shown that dogs have the same brain structures that produce emotions in humans, and there are several ways in which dogs demonstrate their love and affection. So let's look at 10 proven ways that dogs show their love. Number one, your dog yawns with you. Dogs yawn for a lot of reasons. They usually do it to relieve stress, like when you take them to the vet, or they yawn to curb their enthusiasm when you get out the leash to take them for a walk. But if a dog yawns when you do, it's actually a form of social bonding. Researchers at the University of Tokyo have shown that, just like humans, dogs yawn contagiously. But they're more sensitive to the yawns of their owners than those who they don't know. Since contagious yawning in humans is linked to empathy, some scientists believe this might be the case with canines too. While researchers try to explain this connection, you can do a simple test to see if your dog actually loves you. Simply yawn and see if your dog yawns too. Number two, your dog gazes into your eyes when you look at them. Dogs can't talk with humans in a verbal fashion, so they use many nonverbal ways of communicating. One of the ways in which dogs show their love is gazing directly into your eyes. According to a research published in the Journal of Science, dogs develop strong emotional bonds with humans by staring into our eyes, just like humans develop emotions when looking into each other's eyes. This nonverbal way of communication increases the level of social hormone called oxytocin in both dogs and their owners. Dogs also gaze into your eyes to show their devotion and anticipate your next move in order to be by your side when you make it. Number three, your dog raises their eyebrows. Technically speaking, dogs don't have eyebrows in the same way that humans do. However, they can still look like they are raising them. And when they stick out their tongue at the same time as they raise their eyebrows, they are trying hard to mimic your facial expressions in the best way they can. They won't do this with other dogs, but they will with you. According to research published in Scientific Reports Journal, dogs produce significantly more facial movements when humans are paying attention to them than when they are being ignored. Number four, your dog cuddles up with you after you feed it. This is the surest way to know your dog loves you. Even though you feed them every day, your dog doesn't just see you as a feeding machine. They want to cuddle with you after they eat because they want to show you that they love you for more than just their daily meal. Cuddling also releases endorphins that make them feel better. And let's be honest, it makes you feel better too. So, does your dog want to play alone or cuddle up with you after eating? Number five, your dog brings you its favorite toy. Unless they are a cartoon animal, dogs can't talk. So they prove their love in other ways, like bringing you their favorite toy. Dogs are possessive about their bones, toys, and other chews. So when your dog jumps in your lap and brings you their chewed up and worn out favorite toy or bone, be glad. Because they are displaying two types of behavior that are rooted in their love for you. First, they are giving you an offering. Second, they believe that you will keep their most prized possessions safe, just like you are keeping them safe. Number six, your dog lets you touch its head. Many dogs don't like being petted on the top of their head because they perceive it as a threat. Especially if you are towering over them as a human, they do not like being patted on the top of their skull. It is much better to get down on their level and scratch them under the chin or at the base of their tail. So if your dog lets you touch the top of their head, enjoys the process and closes its eyes, you are their special one. Number seven, your dog gets into your laundry and carries your socks around in its mouth. If your dog sleeps on your clothes, it means it loves you. Your clothing has your scent on it and dogs always want to feel closer to you. Obviously, the items that have your strongest personal scent are your socks and shoes, so these items are what they go for first. Number eight, your dog wags its tail. Your dog will wag its tail to communicate with you, but it doesn't always mean it is happy. While wagging its tail in the natural position may be a friendly greeting, be aware of other positions. If a dog gets nervous, it will wag its tail in a lower position. And if a dog wags its tail held high, it is curious or aroused by something. A slow or stiff tail means that it is about to get aggressive. At any rate, your dog is definitely trying to tell you something when it is wagging its tail. This isn't always easy to tell though. 
as the position of the tail varies by breed. The best thing to do in this case is research the breed of dog you have. Then you will know much more about why they are wagging their tail and what it means. Now back to the countdown. Number nine, your dog goes crazy when you get home late. This is the most important and sure way to know your dog loves you. Studies have shown that dog's reunion with their beloved owner has a significantly positive effect on them, increasing the level of social hormone oxytocin and lowering the level of stress hormone cortisol. You see, as the leader of the dog pack, even if you only have one dog, your dog thinks you are out on the hunt to provide food for the family. They don't really understand that you work for a living and that their dog food comes from a store. So if you are late in coming home, they just might think that a bigger or more aggressive dog got the best of you. This is why they are overexcited when you come home. They are also probably wagging their tail in the upright position, as they are overexcited and curious as to what new treats you are bringing home to them. Which you can't always do, but you can reassure them that you still love them. And they will reassure you that they love you too, probably by licking your face. After all, they've been waiting for you all day. Number 10. Your dog follows you around even when you don't need them to. Whether you like it or not, you are the leader of your dog pack. And your dog will follow you around even when you want to be alone. If you have ever given your dog treats, they may follow you around thinking there are always treats on you. Or you may have trained your dog to be needy of attention. Because the needy behavior starts when dogs are a puppy, once they are taken from their mother, a puppy will think of you as their new parent. Which you are. It's called imprinting.